Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to help you resolve the no usable free extent could be found error when you are attempting to create or modify a partition using the disk partition utility built into Windows. So if the partition isn't being recognized or perhaps there's insufficient space, this tutorial is going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it. So if you actually do have an adequate amount of space, that's a different problem, but if you know that you do have the correct amount of space for your device, but it's not being recognized as such, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve it without too much of a hassle here. So we're going to go ahead and jump into it and start by opening up the start menu, type in device manager, best match to come back with device manager above control panel, go ahead and left click on that. Now, once you have Device Manager open, you want to go ahead and expand the Universal Serial Bus Controller section. It should be near the bottom. Go ahead and double click on that. Now, you want to go ahead and locate whatever USB device it's hooked up to that the device is not being able to locate the free space. So, if you have a device in here, you just want to go ahead and right click on it and then select Uninstall Device. And then, once you know what that, go ahead and click on Uninstall. And it should automatically reinstall the driver software if it's hooked up to your computer, or at least when you restart your computer. So just go through here. You don't have to remove all of them, but if you know one specific one is where your problem is stemming from, definitely a good idea. So just keep that in mind. It should automatically reinstall once you restart your computer at the minimum. So close out of here when you're done. Restart your computer like I said. Another thing you can try would be to run the disk partition utility using administrator permissions, which might be the cause of your issue. So if you open up the start menu, type in CMD, try right clicking on the command prompt, and then select run as administrator, and then select yes for the user account control prompt. At this point, if you try typing in disk part, hopefully that would be able to get the utility up and running without too much of a hassle here. So once you've done that, you also be able to potentially clean the disk. So if you're trying to delete some files on it or you're trying to figure out why there isn't any space available, if you want to go ahead and just type in list disk, so L-I-S-T space disk, it should give you a list of all the disk on here. So if you notice that your disk isn't even showing up here, that's probably where your problem is. It's just not even recognizing it. And you also want to check how much free space is also available. So if there even is a free partition available for this new space. So just keep that in mind here, guys. So once you're done with that, close out of here. And I mean, just go about whatever you were trying to accomplish. So I do hope that this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.